former MD says he came to you because the board had said you find a way of how this fund can be more relevant to the community and you agreed and you discussed with the, with the former MD on how you are going to allocate this money to benefit the community, if I may understand. Microphone. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. And I'm going to state this once again. The MD came to me two issues. One was about the unions. And the other one about was ab the unions, the 800 mm. million. The other one was about the board. I do not have anywhere in the budget or the related documents a breakdown of that one billion shillings. So he gave you a directive as your boss to put in one billion and he didn't tell you what it was going he to said, be. He said, and I said he said it was, he was getting a lot of pressure from above and I'm repeating that. So he came and told you, I'm getting a lot of pressure from above, put one billion. Yes, okay. and, and, he was, and he was going to defend it in Exco. Okay. So, MD, you have something to add? Former MD, you have something to add? No, I think that is, that is it. The, the one billion was there. Um, of course, I have a slide here which was generated by them, breaking it down, but we, we all know that it was for the board to be able to help us uh, in uh, implementing this new strategy on uh, CSI. So, Mr. Vyargava, are you saying uh, the financial director is telling this honorable committee lies and they had even presented a slide to you in regards to the breakdown? Well, those are his words, <laughs> not mine. You know, we, I, I mean, I couldn't have dreamt of this slide. I don't make any slides in finance. Okay. Now we're going to come to a conclusion on this matter. Other clarification? Further clarification? Yes, Mr. Former Managing Director. You have mentioned the board big time. Do you see the board, or has the board failed to respect the savers fund or to yeah to respect can we first the conclude this matter of how it was generated yes. Chair, before we ask any other okay. question Chair, clarification yeah. on that so, so, yeah. I, uh, Mr. Vyarugaba Mr. Yes. Vyarugaba mm. has talked about having a slide and I see he's getting it on his phone how did you get that slide on your phone it's, it's from the director of finance he Is sent it? it to you through an email, through a message? Through a message. And can you prove that to this committee? Yeah. It's here. Yeah. Share with the chairperson. Director of Finance, don't delete any chat, please. I, uh, CID, no. can you kindly retrieve that phone? Don't. Is, is, are you called Stevens? On 4th of May 2022 at 12.10 p.m. You sent this slide to this mobile phone. Such a man, I have no recollection at all. So, okay. Can you put, put the password? Can I just unlock? I want to read the telephone number. What is this? What did he say? Okay. okay. Mr. Stephen, is your telephone number 0752506387? Yes, it is, Mr. Chairman. This is August. Uh, let me go back. January, this was May.
Now, mm -hmm. that is the WhatsApp. I want the exact. Mr. Mwanje, you seem to have deleted the record between 30th April and 6th May. There is no fourth, I, and here it is there. Oh, on yes. Mr. Vyargawa's phone, on your phone, there is no communication between April and May 4th. Mr. Chairman, that's why I'm surprised, because I have not deleted records. I don't delete records between me. But can you insert a message from someone? <laughs> I, yes. Can you open this WhatsApp group so that I, I read? Yes, I want the WhatsApp message. Chair, I, I need to ask you, Mr. Manje, whether he has, between that, from that time, whether he has changed phones. Because sometimes you can change phones, no. and if you have not done backup, some information can get lost without is, your knowledge. That is made last year. But it can be recovered. No, I don't. You have not changed the phone. I don't think I changed the phone. 20 seconds. But, Bana Manje. Yes, sir. To me, I don't see anything complicated here. If the pressure from above wanted a billion, now he's telling you how can we create it or reallocate it? Be, these are drafts. Do, do you need to fear drafts? You can say it was a proposal, but not to be passed. Um, um, Honorable, all the other information that I remember have talked about it. I do not specifically remember ever doing because I even when when it was mentioned here yeah, I went back with my team and we even tried to look did we do this like nothing you yes. were aware that there is that allegation yes because it oh. was mentioned here and we checked that's why it is not there no we check huh? no you can check I our computers no you can also check our computers because uh, the, 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 the it's a progression yes we are not we 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 do not have this record that no, I asked uh, the budgeting manager, you can ask Mr. Yes. Yeah, uh, Mr. Mr. Mwanje. Mr. Mwanje. Yes. This was a screenshot because I see windows above from a laptop. Yes, sir. Where it says, if I can retrieve, zoom in, financial 2022-2023 budget, other breakdown. Breakdown, corporate social investment. Minister... 250. Board chairman, 250. Other board members, 500. No two, 100 million per quarter, 400. COF two, 100 million per quarter, 400. Total, 800. Bonus arrangement, an average gross of 55 million per member. That one was removed. Well, we will determine, we are going to look at the statement, but mm -hmm. an average gross of 55 per member. I don't know which member this is. Member of the board. Member of the board. Yeah, because that was discussed. 500 million. Total 2.3 billion. Yeah. Was this a screenshot from your laptop? I have not looked at it, Mr. Chairman. Can you I, kindly come? I don't know. Mr. Abiyarugawa, you can come as well. Was this a screenshot from your laptop? I don't know. I'm not able to tell if it's from my laptop. Did you send this screenshot? I do not have a recollection of ever sending that. You don't remember ever sending it? Yes, I don't have a recollection. Uh -huh. Mr. Chair. Mm -hmm. Mr. Chairman, I don't, I don't want you to okay. people to think you're giving me a And Mr. Chairman, mm -hmm. these are generated by my team. If it was done, I don't generate screenshots. I mean, um, slides. So your, uh, your team generated it? If it? No, no, no. What I'm saying, even if it was there, I asked my team if they generated this, and they said they don't remember if I generated it. Where did you take the screenshot from? That's what I'm saying, Mr. Chairman. I have no recollection. And really? Chair, hmm? how much is that total? 
total is 2.3 billion. 2.3. Chair, earlier on, I asked Mr. Mwanje. Total, I am talking about the total. Yes, I have, I have a reason as to why I asked the total. Earlier on, I asked Mr. Mwanje about the other operating costs, if you recall very well, about 6.5 billion. There is the MasterCard Foundation of 4 billion, then the 1.8 billion that we are talking about, then the 400 million financial interest that he tried to cover up and explain very well. Then the, the part four of partnership, which is 219 million. So when you add up that, it comes to roughly 2.4 billion. Is it, Mr. Mwanje, can Microphone? It, it was 6.5 because it was 4.9 MasterCard. 6.5 yes. minus the one of the MasterCard Foundation. I didn't insist on that. What balance do you have? 6.5 minus 4.9, around 2.4. 2.4. Is it the 2.4 you were trying to share there? Mr. Mwanji. <laughs> I, I, I'm just seeing a, screen, a part of the screenshot. <laughs> That's the number, though. Yes, it is the number. Is that, is that your, your okay, we, seven five. That is seven five two five zero six. No, no, but yours. Yeah. Is that yours? That's, uh, have Do you have another mobile phone mm -hmm. here? Yes, yes. Where is the mobile phone? No, I, everything is. This is the only phone? Yes, everything. I have another. Where is the second mobile phone? That second line is in here. Can you go to the second WhatsApp? That's five. What is it? Where was it? Open that seven one. Five? Mm. Okay, this is seven, seven. Open. This one, you deleted everything. No, Mr. Chairman. Yes, you see, when you delete, there are gaps in between. Honorable members, kindly take your seats and I make a ruling on this matter. No, the phones will remain. Director of Finance, it's an investigation, really. We don't want to be harassing you people, you have families, but we don't want to also bring a report that doesn't have facts. Otherwise, you'd be already in prison. So I'm going to ask you again, for the benefit. Just keep in mind we are doing this for the interest of the 11th Parliament to produce a report that is credible. So we don't want to produce reports that have uh, uh, glaring issues where we are not sure. Did you know of the breakdown of the corporate social investment? Mr. Chairman, I did not specifically know about the breakdown of the corporate social investment, but I kept on hearing, and I did not want to put to the committee what has, because that is hearsay. Because Did you send the breakdown to your former MD, Mr. Richard? To the best of my recollection, sir, I don't remember sending it. Is this your contact? Yes, it's my contact. I can say that I sent it, but uh, so it's the best of my recollection. You may not remember you sent it, but the fact that you sent it, you should know that you are away. Because we are trying to establish the origin. Why spend save us money on uh, corporate social investment. Let's say if we use this figure, you send 2.3 billion donations that are not going to have accountability by them. Someone wakes up and gives uh, whoever he wants and there's no accountability for this money. So we want to establish the source. Because yesterday the board came here and they told us they didn't request for it. Mr. Richard has confirmed that the board didn't request for it but they put you under pressure to come up with a plan on how they can be relevant. So you sat somewhere and came up with a very good package. All of us, I'm sure, wish we had such a package. 
of 250 billion for a minister, 250 for the board chair, 500 for the members, uh, another 55 million per member of the board for an average gross. And you sent this uh, computation to Mr. Richard. Sir, um, this is the last time because we, we, have, we don't have time. Yes, sir. Yeah. Uh, Mr. Chairman, as the head of department, all the slides and all the computation of the budgets are done by the budget manager. And I was very mindful of that thing when I had it. And I went and asked him, did you make this slide? Did you make anything? Did you provide Mr. Biagaba with this? Mr. Mwaji, yes. does the finance manager you are referring to, yes. at times in casual, budget manager, yes. at times in casual times, yes. use your phone? No. No. Why I'm saying that is that you know, did, did someone it, use your phone to send because you have accepted the number? Yes. Maybe I can't deny my someone numbers. Someone at home accidentally took a photo and sent it. No, that would be. Uh, so how would you want us to believe you didn't send this when you acknowledge the number that sent it was yours? Mr. Chairman, all I can say, and um, if it is on my number, it went. But the best of my recollection. I do not remember sending it because I don't even have those figures in my head. I don't even remember them at all. I clearly remember the 800 billion and I clearly remember the 1 billion. But I don't see why I'll come and answer all the other questions and fail to answer questions about that same number. Yeah. How do you want us to proceed, honorable members? Quickly. Okay, let's start with the former. <laughs> yes. Um, again, I do, I, th this is an awkward situation, unfortunately, Mr. Chairman. Uh, but, you know, I, I haven't been able to talk uh, because I, I don't have any right to talk. So the only person who's given me an opportunity to talk is yourself. Uh, and, and therefore, I would like to put this on record that um, I have just seen a tweet uh, forwarded to me by a colleague a friend um, on NBS television. Uh, I believe th this was a program of the interview uh, where the Minister of Gender, Labor and Social Development, Honorable Betty Among, says her refusal to reappoint Richard Biarugaba as Managing Director of NSF was backed by evidence of financial impropriety in the running of the fund. Among says that savers money was being taken, being given to money lenders in town to make profits. Uh, Mr. Chairman, um, first of all, if this was an allegation, it is being, uh, those are the allegations that are being investigated, but I, as far as I'm aware, this is a new allegation. Uh, I, I, I don't know if anybody is investigating it, and it just feels sad that my name continues to be tarnished uh, by uh, my boss, my former boss, sorry. So I can only appeal to you maybe <laughs> to say, to, to do something about it. I don't know what powers the committee has, but I feel this is, this is a, a real bad campaign on me. Um, I mean, anybody, you know, these, my children looking at this, my wife, my relatives, anybody else, even my colleagues here who've worked with me, are know you, that this is... Are you addressing the media? Are you addressing the committee? No, I'm addressing you, the committee. So I'm saying, you know, anybody seeing this, uh, Mr. Chair and, and members, won't feel nice things about me, and I, I feel that that is it's so unfair. Okay. So my request is, if you have the power, um, I don't know whether you can stop this or you can bring, ask the, the minister to retract this because, yeah, it's what it is. Because this morning when I walked in, you kind of challenged me that there was a, uh, a director yesterday 
who made certain allegations. I just wanted to, because it's on record, it will take me like a minute or two. Uh, August 12th, Friday, 2022, there is a board meeting. The final resolution of that meeting was this. The resolution of the board, the board agreed to maintain the 6 billion shillings for the cited objectives of the fund budget. The policy guidelines for the implementation of this budget would be developed by management in consultation with the relevant stakeholders. The managing director that I took to coordinate the above and update the board once is done. October 14th, there's a meeting from the Finance Committee, and they say additional initiatives under the Corporate Social Responsible Amount to 6 billion. Members task management to prepare a paper on the initiatives under this budget. The paper is presented at the main board meeting scheduled for 24th of November 2022. That meeting actually takes place on the 25th of November, and actually it is discussed. And the conclusion of that meeting is basically the board resolved to have a board meeting to consider the detailed implementation plan and budget and revert to the minister by 15th December 2022. The meeting doesn't take place in December 2022. It's actually scheduled for May for January the 5th. Now, there were nine board members in that meeting that made this resolution. The majority of them would be at least five. So I think for somebody to say, I tried to push, influence, whatever it is, board members to have this. Uh, it is, is actually inaccurate. And that's the record I wanted to put straight. Can you and give I us those you. documents? Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. and members, mine is an appeal. I think through these proceedings, what has come out clearly is that everyone is interested in the member and safeguarding the member's you know, savings. And, and that's the mandate the fund is tasked with. We have learnt a lot. There are lessons that have been learnt. But my appeal is that the committee and all bodies involved in this expedite the ongoing exercises so that normalcy can be restored. Um, speaking for myself and our colleagues, the whole gang here and those in office. Did you come with a gun? <laughs> <laughs> Excuse my language, Honorable Chair. My colleagues, may the record be corrected. This is having a really serious strain on all of us. Eh? Um, we request that um, you expedite your exercises, you being the committee, IGG, whoever is handling this, we have learned clearly without even waiting for your findings, there are issues that we've identified where clearly we've got to go back and go back to the drawing board and change course, you know, but the brand is suffering. And at the end of the day, if we are looking at the interests of the member, the earlier we restore that confidence in the fund, the better. On our part, speaking for myself and I believe my colleagues, we are committed. We are committed to learn. We must be accountable to the members and society. I think we are, we, 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 humility is, is, is a virtue. I think we've been humbled. Yeah? We have been humbled. We are waiting for the last lessons, and we'll take them in good faith. But let's quickly restore normalcy. The brand is suffering, and it's the member who is going to suffer at the end of the day. I submit. Thank you. Okay. Thank you, Chair. I just want to utilize this time to correct the record about Uganda Clays. Uganda Clays is a listed company. It will be upon us. I thought you had a personal statement. You are going to give us the entire okay. file no, no, Uganda no. Clays. Okay, allow me to say just two things. When the Minister of Finance said that they had not given a no objection, he wasn't, he wasn't, he wasn't, he was, he was, he was actually telling the truth because it wasn't him who gave the no objection for the loan. It was Honorable Saida Abumba, and we've submitted a copy of the no objection to that effect of an amount of 11.05 billion Uganda shillings. Regarding the valuations, we've also submitted copies of, 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 of valuation reports, which amount to 30.898 billion. Those are my two cents. Thank you, Chair. Personal statements. We don't have time. I think you've helped to unearth lots of things. You've opened our eyes to a lot. You've been very impartial and objective, so thank you so much. Kindly wrap it up as soon as you practical. 
because our staff are so eager and anxious, so the sooner you do it, the sooner we can focus back to what we are paid to do. We don't want Thank to you. move like a turkey. <laughs> Otherwise, <laughs> Thank you. So, we'll touch on the brand. The comment that I wish to make, Chair, for the record, both for the committee and for the media, is that I felt that probably we didn't do justice on the matter of CSR especially. That the weaknesses associated with NOTU and COFT notwithstanding, the fund over the years has done an exceptional job in giving back to the community. We participate countrywide in the drive for blood. We've donated medical equipment to places like Mulago, to hospitals, government-aided hospitals across the country. We've provided educational material and equipment we have all to government-aided schools. Yes, we, Chair. We have all your achievements. Thank you, Chair. So, Chair, the record that I'm requesting, uh, you know, just to note, is that the things that we've been able to do in CESAR, you may not attach a price when someone is getting blood, but that the fund is